Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Rolls-Royce Snigma Olympus 593 was an Anglo-French turbojet with reheat afterburner which powered the supersonic airliner Concorde. It was initially a joint project between Bristol Sidelli Engines Limited BSEL and Snigma, derived from the Bristol Sidelli Olympus 22R engine. Rolls-Royce Limited acquired BSEL in 1966 during development of the engine making BSEL the Bristol engine division of Rolls-Royce, until regular commercial flights by Concorde ceased in October 2003. The Olympus turbojet was unique in aviation as the only turbojet with reheat powering a commercial aircraft. The overall thermal efficiency of the engine in supersonic cruising flight supercruise was about 43% which at the time was the highest figure recorded for any normal thermodynamic machine. The initial design of the engine was a civil version of the Olympus 22R, redesignated as the 591. The 22R had been designed for sustained 45 minutes flight at Mach 2.2 as the engine for the BACTSR2. The 591 was redesigned being known as the 593 with specification finalised on 1 January 1964. Bristol Sidelli of the UK and Snigma Motors of France were to share the project. Snigma and Bristol Sidelli were also involved in an unrelated joint project, the M45H turbofan. The early development stages validated the basic design concept but many studies were required to meet the specifications which included fuel consumption SFC, engine pressure ratio, weight size and turbine entry temperature. Initial studies looked at turbojets and turbofans, but the lower frontal cross-sectional area of turbojets in the end was shown to be a critical factor in achieving superior performance. The competing Russian Tu-144 initially used a turbofan with reheat, but changed to a turbojet without reheat with considerable improvement in performance. Development of the engine and engine accessories was the responsibility of Bristol Sidelli, while BAC was responsible for the variable intake and overall engine installation, and Snikma the exhaust nozzle thrust reverse and noise attenuation and the afterburner. Britain was to have a larger share in production of the Olympus 593 as France had a larger share in fuselage production. Ground test running of the engines was coordinated between Bristol Sidelli, the National Gas Turbine Establishment, Bistock, UK and the Centre du SS des Propulsions at Saclay, France. Increases in aircraft weight during the design phase led to a takeoff thrust requirement which could not be met by the engine. The required shortfall of 20% was met with the introduction of partial reheat which was produced by Snigma. In July 1964, two prototypes of the 593D engine D for derivative derived from the 22R were produced. These two derivative engines were built to determine the validity of design concepts such as turbine stator and rotor cooling and testing the system at high environmental temperatures. They also demonstrated the need for larger engines, which were designated 593B. The Olympus 593B was first run in November 1965. The B4 Big was a redesign of the 593D which was planned for an earlier smaller Concorde design, test results from the 593D were used for the design of the B, the B was dropped later from the designation, Snigma used an Olympus 301 in testing scaled models of the nozzle system, in June 1966. A complete Olympus 593 engine and variable geometry exhaust assembly was first run at Milan Villa Roche, at Bristol. Flight tests began using an RAF Favro Vulcan bomber with the engine and its nacelle attached below the bomb bay. Due to the Vulcan's aerodynamic limitations, the tests were limited to a speed of Mach 0.981200 a km per hour. During these tests, the 593 achieved 35,198 pounds per foot 157 a kilo newtons of thrust, which exceeded the specification for the engine. In early 1966, 
The Olympus 593 produced 37,000 pounds of thrust with reheat. In April 1967, the Olympus 593 ran for the first time in a high altitude chamber at Sackley. In January 1968, the Vulcan flying test bed logged 100 flight hours and the variable geometry exhaust assembly for the Olympus 593 engine was cleared at Milan Villa Roche for flight in the Concorde prototypes. Concorde prototype 001 made its maiden flight from Toulouse on 2 March 1969. It was captained by Andre Turcat the chief test pilot of Sud Aviation. Using reheated lifted off at 205 knots 388 km per hour after a ground run of 4,700 feet 1.48 km. 67 Olympus 593 engines were manufactured. A quieter, higher thrust version the Mark 622 was proposed. Reheat was not required and the lower jet velocity reduced the noise from the exhaust. The improved efficiency would have allowed greater range and opened up new routes, particularly across the Pacific as well as transcontinental routes across America. However, the poor sales of Concorde meant that this plan for a Concorde B was not pursued. The Olympus 593 was a two-shaft turbojet with reheat. The LP and HP compressors both had seven stages and were each driven by a single-stage turbine. Due to the high inlet air temperatures at Mach 2 crews in excess of 120 degrees Celsius the compressor drums and blades were made from titanium except for the last four HP stages which were Nymonic 90 nickel alloy. Nickel alloys were normally only required in the hotter turbine areas, but the high temperatures that occur in the last stages of the compressor at supersonic flight speeds dictated its use in the compressor also. The HP turbine stator and rotor blades and LP turbine rotor blades were cooled. A partial reheat 20% thrust boost was installed to give the required takeoff thrust. It was also used for transonic acceleration from Mach 0.95 up to Mach 1.7. The aircraft flew supersonically without reheat above that speed and at cruise the engine contributed 8% of the thrust produced by the complete propulsion system. All major components of the 593 were designed for a life of 25,000 hours, with the exception of the compressor and turbine blades which were designed for a 10,000 L hour life. An engine installed on Concorde could be changed in 1 hour and 50 minutes. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.